in the SEC Championship first time since 2017. Pleased to be joined by the head coach of the Bulldogs and the reigning national champions, Kirby Smart. So Kirby, you now look and you see the you see the matchup that you'll have against Ohio State. What's your initial reaction to it? Well, I'm excited. Uh, what a great program. What a great job Ryan's done there. Um, they got a lot of really good players because uh, we recruit a lot of the same kids and they've got a tremendous program. Um, it'll be a premier matchup, which our guys love. And, you know, when, when you make the final four, whether you're one through four, it really doesn't matter. Um, what matters is how you manage this time building up to this game and the, the nature of the game because there's a lot of build up. A lot of build up, and we heard from Laura Rutledge earlier that uh, that you perhaps have a message defensively. Now, look, you had the game in hand, it seemed, for a while. Some points, yards, how will you use that starting today uh, for the rest of this time in the preparation? Well, the message is always going to be consistent. You know, there's things we can do better in every game. That would be no different than last night. Um, I was really proud of our guys being resilient and playing, and um, we've played really good complimentary football, um, but we can't play the defense we played last night uh, and expect to be any kind of champions, semifinal or national championship. So we got some work to do, and uh, our guys, will I know they'll be excited to get back to work. Kirby, congrats on, a, on another SEC championship, man. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put you in a little bit of a tough spot here. Not looking at Ohio State. But looking in the past, when the SEC has played the Big Ten in games you have coached, what's been the difference and why you have come up on top more often than not? I don't know um, many times that we've got an opportunity to play. I mean, I know last year, obviously, in, in the CFP final, and our team was in a, you know, a different state of mind coming Mich off you remember the, the, Michigan uh, State the, the Alabama loss. I'm saying even going back to Alabama as a, as a defensive coordinator. Oh, I got just you. Yeah, you're general, going way, big, way, way, I'm way just back. Saying, big, way big back. Ten in general <laughs> against the SEC and games you've coached. What's what's been the difference when you you got uh, in the post game and looked at the film? What what if, why did you win? I think it's no different. It's not about the Big Ten and the SEC. It's about football, right? It boils <laughs> down to line of scrimmage. It, it it boils down to turnovers, explosive plays. Um, it's not really about the two conferences in those games. You may need to make it about that, but really it's about who plays better. Because I also played and coached at Alabama when Ohio State absolutely destroyed us uh, one CFP semifinal game. And you know what? They played better. They were more explosive, and they didn't have turnovers, and we did at Alabama. So it really boils down to how you play, not who you play. Coach, congratulations. Um, I was wondering, along the way, during your season, uh, we watched you guys play some close games. Uh, Missouri was close. Uh, Kentucky was closer than people expected. Uh, is there value in those kind of games as you go through a season and you're the number one team in the country for a long time? Is there value in playing close games along the way? There's, there's value in playing close games, but there's also value in uh, playing well. And uh, we've had some close games, and we've had some games we played better than others. Um, but the consistency is what we look for. And, you know, I, I don't think there's a conference in America that doesn't have rivalry games that somebody in the country doesn't look at and say, oh, well, they should have beat that team much worse. Um, but when you play on the road in any conference, it's tough. Um, especially the Power Five conferences. And we got a really, really quality conference down here in the SEC. And every team you play is capable of beating you. And um, our kids were up to the standard each and every time they got a chance. Coach, can you talk about the impact of having a quarterback like Stetson Bennett, a guy with big game experience who's been to the playoff, won a national championship, not only played in the big games, but was MVP of some of these big games. How important is that for you? How valuable heading into this postseason in the playoff? It's probably the number one, you know, critical factor is your quarterback play. I say all the time that, you know, most of these games, the way football is now, come down to the quarterback. Can he make plays? Can he make you right as an offensive coordinator when you're wrong? Um, the decisions that are he's asked to make on the RPO and, and who to throw the ball to, they're so critical, they almost outweigh the, the decisions made by the coordinators. And when you have a guy that's played and, and had these kind of experiences, um, which both teams in our game will have experienced quarterbacks, um, it, it makes for exciting football. Uh, it makes for really good offense. Um, but those guys determine the outcome a lot of times with their decision making. Coach, when you look at the, uh, the schedule now, what, what's the schedule? How do you ramp up now? Do you give the guys some time off? Like, how do you, now that you've done this a couple times, how do you look at the schedule moving forward before the game? Obviously, you've got several amount of weeks before that point. 
Yeah, David, that's probably the toughest part to me is that, you know, I always look at it and it's, it's sour grapes now because I'm so happy that we got a chance to play in the SEC championship. We got a chance to win an SEC championship. But you look and you say, okay, I'd like to give my guys a little time to recover, relax, um, uh, get in shape, worry about final exams. I mean, there's so many things going on. We got official visits next weekend, but you see a team that maybe didn't play in a conference championship, and now the opportunity for those guys, they've had a, a week off, uh, a week to recoup and get ready. They're going to be fresh and ready to go and ready to bounce back and start practicing. So we got to be smart about how we practice our guys, but we also got to understand it's going to be a physical game because Ohio State's a very physical team. Kirby, we appreciate everything uh, you're doing joining us this week, and uh, congratulations on the SEC championship, and the best of luck in the Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl against Ohio State. Look forward to seeing you. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.